so good morning everyone welcome to this lecture number 32 and 33 of module 4 that is right utilization and protection of the produced physical facilities so before moving towards lecture let's briefly summarize what we studied in previous lectures so basically we are trying to understand dimensions for human order so we studied dimension of education in lecture number 18 to 21 where we talked about education content of education process of education policies related to education then we studied dimension of health where we talked about the feeling of self regulation health of the body program for ensuring the health of the body and policies and systems to ensure health in everyone then we talked about dimension of justice <coughs> where we talked about human human relationships and we talked about established values expressed values and we also talked about the system of justice then we talked about the dimension of production where we studied about the production criteria for evaluating the production processes what to produce how to produce how much to produce then we studied a humane system required to facilitate this process of production then we talked about exchange and storage in lecture 32 to 31 where we studied the importance of exchange and importance for running this humane system now in this lecture we are going to talk about right utilization and protection of the produced physical facilities so let's see let's study this right utilization and protection so before moving towards this right utilization and protection you can take pause for 2 minutes and you can revise all these dimensions and you will realize that all these dimensions are basically interconnected and starts from this education so if we are given humane education with humane education everyone will be able to ensure feeling of self regulation that is one is able to ensure the health of the body then this humane education one will be able to recognize the relationship recognize the coexistence thus one can ensure this feeling of justice and with this humane education one can understand what is production why production is required so one can be aware about his need about feeling of prosperity and with this feeling of prosperity and right identification of need production processes can be ethical and with this dimension of education one can exchange and store the physical facilities distribute physical facilities with the feeling of mutual fulfillment and with this dimension of education one will be able to appreciate the available physical facility and will be able to ensure this right utilization and protection so with this we are going to discuss this dimension of right utilization and protection in detail so first we try to understand this purpose of dimension of right utilization so what is the purpose so purpose of right utilization is the prosperity in human being and preservation of rest of nature so when we are able to ensure right utilization of the available physical facilities 
then the physical facilities may be available to us for a longer time and it actually help with in feeling of prosperity so with feeling of prosperity as we studied feeling of having more than required physical facilities is prosperity so more than required physical facilities will be available to us once we start right utilizing the things <clears throat> so if we are rightly utilizing the produced thing then the things will be available to us for a longer time and we can live with this feeling of prosperity so with the right understanding we can have this feeling of prosperity and with this right utilization we can ensure physical facility available to us for longer time and it also helps in preservation of rest of nature so once we start right utilization of the available things it also helps in preservation of rest of nature so once we ensure right utilization parallelly nature produces and with this preservation and with this natural cycle the things are available to us for a longer time so with this right utilization the two purposes are fulfilled then we can talk about this preservation and protection of things which are being used or utilized so whatever we have physical facilities we have to preserve and protection we have to preserve and protect those things so for example suppose you have a sofa in your house made of wooden so we can protect that sofa from environment so we can paint it we can clean it so by painting the sofa can be protected from degrading because of the activity with the environment so we can paint our cooler we can paint the things which are made of iron etc so in this manner we can also protect the things so this exercise you can do at your home make a list of the physical facilities that you have right now and start observing whether you are protecting those things or not so with protection you can also preserve those things so this preservation and protection if we ensure both of this then this right utilization can be ensured so with the right utilization this preservation and protection of things which are available to us can be ensured and with this there is a need to identify our real needs or things which are being used or utilized so we can do right utilization of physical facility right utilization of body right utilization of the self so right utilization is required at the level of physical facility at the level of body at the level of self so if we rightly utilize all the three then preservation of nature and prosperity of nature can be ensured so let's study what does it mean the mean what is the meaning of right utilization of physical facility right utilization of body right utilization of the self <clears throat> so when we say right utilization of physical facility it means we are using physical facility for nurturing and protection of the body <clears throat> so if we are using physical facilities for nurturing and protection of the body it means we are rightly utilizing the things <clears throat> or things are being used for the participation in the society 
So in this manner, we can rightly utilize the available physical facility. So this is a check mark. You can ask yourself whether you are using the available physical facility for nurturing and protection of the body or you are using the available physical facility for participation in the society or you, you are doing else. So if we are using available physical facility for nurturing and protection of the body for participation in the society, it means we are right utilizing the things. And distribution of the remaining is also a part of it. So once we have identified our need, once we are using available physical facility for nurturing protection and participation in the society, then the remaining physical facility can be distributed with the feeling of relationship, with the feeling of mutual fulfillment. So if we ensure this, we can feel secure in terms of physical facility with the feeling of prosperity. Then right utilization of the body. So what does it mean? What is the meaning of this right utilization of the body? So it means we are using this body for self study and self development. So we have body, we have this body with us for a certain period of time and this body can be used for self study and self development. So we have senses in our body. So with the help of these senses, I am expressing myself, I am trying to give you contents with the help of my senses and with these senses you can take inputs given from me and in this manner both of us can ensure self-study and self-development. So, If we are using body at a place where self-study and self-development is not taking place, it means we are not right utilizing the body. So first point is right utilization of body means to use this body for self study and self development. Then for fulfillment of obligations and duty towards family and society. So with the clarity of this right understanding through this self study and self development, there would be some obligations and duties which has to be fulfilled from me and for that a healthy body is required. So if I am using my body for fulfillment of obligations and duty, it means I am right utilizing the body. Then for investing time and labor for the activities of production. So with the help of the body, I am investing my time. I am doing labor with the help of this body for the production. Production because to fulfill my needs. So in this manner, we can right utilize the body. So if we are using, if we are rightly using our body, it also help to preserve and to protect the nature. So you can take pause for two minutes and ask yourself, make a list of your activities which you are performing in this 24 cross 7 and divide those activities in point 1, 2 and 3 and see how much time you are rightly utilizing your body. Then we can also discuss about right utilization of the self. So what does it mean? It means right utilization of the self is to ensure right feelings and right thoughts for living with mutual fulfillment. 
so if i work for my self development if my if i work for awakening of myself in the higher activities as you studied in uhb 3 activity of realization activity of understanding activity of contemplation so once i work for my self development once i work for my growth of the consciousness then i am able to ensure right feeling and right thoughts for living with mutual fulfillment so living with this right feeling right thought is right utilization of the self it means what ever desires thoughts feelings are in me is according to my natural acceptance is according to coexistence and thus i am rightly utilizing this self so if we look at the priority right utilization of this self is the first priority then right utilization of the body and finally right utilization of the physical facilities so if i am not able to ensure right utilization of this self if i am in contradiction if i have desire against this coexistence again relationship then it becomes very difficult to ensure right utilization of the body so once i am in contradiction then i use my body to spread this contradiction with the feeling of opposition with the feeling of revenge etc and with this i am also not able to rightly utilize this physical facility so if you try to find out the priority in all these three at the level of self body and physical facility then you will find out that right utilization of this self is at the first priority and with this right utilization of this self it means with ensuring this right feeling and right thought in myself now i am able to rightly utilize the body and once i am able to use my body rightly then only i can rightly utilize the physical facility so if we are not able to ensure this right utilization of physical facility then it is an indicator that we are not able to ensure right utilization of this self and the body if you observe your activity you make a list of your activities and see when you are not able to ensure this right utilization of the physical facility so not ensuring this right utilization of physical facility is actually a problem of the self because i am not able to ensure this right utilization of self that's why i am not able to ensure right utilization of the body and right utilization of the physical facility so to ensure this right utilization of the available physical facility it is must that we have to ensure right utilization of the self and to ensure this right utilization of the self we have to work for self development we have to work for awakening in higher activities of the self so let's me sum up the three things right utilization of the physical facility right utilization of the body and right utilization of the self so we have discussed now right utilization of these three so with the right utilization of the self when i work for self development then i am able to use the activities of the self in the right direction and with this harmonious self i am able to ensure rightly utilize this body and with the right utilization of the body i am able to ensure this physical facilities i am able to ensure this right utilization of physical facilities so if we ensure this right utilization of self body and physical facility it means i am able to right utilize 
of the resources available around me as a self and available body with available physical facility i am able to ensure this right utilization of all the things then we can talk about this what to do at individual level what can we do at the level of individual to ensure this right utilization so what can we do number 1 it is important to have the understanding of what is right utilization so we can develop a wisdom through human education sanskar so that one can discriminate among right utilization misutilization and indulgence so if we work on this human education sanskar so with this human education sanskar one can get the wisdom and discriminate about right and wrong and with this discrimination one would be able to ensure the difference between utilization and misutilization and indulgence so then to have the mindset and the commitment to have a lifestyle which ensure right utilization so once we ensure this wisdom wisdom of right utilization then we have commitment of living with such lifestyle that ensure right utilization of available resources so lifestyle is an important point if you see today's lifestyle people are misutilizing the thing in the name of show off in the name of at getting attention from others etc and people are indulged in the physical facility because in the lack of this wisdom to discriminate among the three so this kind of mindset is required to ensure this right utilization so let's talk about a minimum test for this is whether our production is more or consumption or indulgence we can find out this and we can ask these questions at the level of individual at the level of family so you can do this exercise you can talk with your family members what physical facility you have with you whether you are rightly utilizing this available physical facility or you are misutilizing or you are indulged in it all this you can exercise at your home so this is these are few suggestions these are these are few recommendations which can be done at the level of individual to ensure right utilization while living with nature and human being then we can talk about what can be done at the level of society so at a level of society we can develop a culture and civilization which promotes right utilization and which restrain misutilization or indulgence so it is a combined effort from the society we have to develop such kind of culture civilization which promotes which appreciate people who are rightly utilizing the things who are a such a culture that discourages people who are misutilizing the things so we have to develop this kind of culture and civilization so we must promote this mentality of right utilization in every festival every rites and every rituals in cultural functions so at the level of society it can be done so whenever there are rituals whatever rituals we are performing at society level whatever cultural function functions we are performing 
we can promote this mentality of right utilization. Then regarding our design, so we have to design in such a manner that promote this right utilization or protect the misutilization. We have to promote a culture of repair of facility that gets damaged in the process of use rather than making a culture of use and through. We should facilitate, we should appreciate to reusable, reusing the things. <clears throat> then designing utilities like machines in parts so that if any part is damaged, it can be replaced rather than throwing the hole. So we can do such kind of creativity in engineering. We can do such kind of creativity while learning skills to use the used part of a machine rather than replacing the whole machine. So we have to design utilities with multiple uses. So we have to design such instrument, we have to design equipment in a manner that it ensures multiple uses rather than single use. So all these can be done at the level of society. So if we ensure this at the level of society, it would also help us to right utilize the things. So this is a simple exercise which you can do at your home. Make a list of commodities being used in your home and for each commodity find out how it is being used and what are the possibilities of its utilization. How can we enhance its utilization further? or at least how we can reduce its misutilization. So you can do this exercise. So you will be aware many things. You will get many ideas. You will share, you can share your ideas with others to ensure this right utilization of the commodities. Then dimension of right utilization <coughs> is helpful in fulfilling of social responsibilities of different kinds. So once we ensure this right utilization, it can be helpful in fulfillment of social responsibilities. So at the level of society, we can do this. And we should avoid of this misutilization of physical facility, body and self. So let's uh, see one by one. So why people are misutilizing the things? If you see the prevalent notion in the society, many people are unknowingly misutilizing the things. And the basic reason may be trying to get continuity of happiness through favorable sensation or physical facility. So if we are trying to ensure this continuity of happiness through favorable sensation, physical facility, then it may lead to, it may culminate in misutilization of physical facilities because our continuity of happiness cannot be ensured through these sensations through the available physical facility. Our continuity of happiness can be ensured through right understanding, through awakening in the self. But due to ignorance of this activities of self, due to ignorance of this self-awareness, people try to ensure their continuity of happiness through favorable sensation or physical facility. Similarly, people are trying to get favorable feeling from others, for example, respect. So to achieve this respect from others, people start showing off the things. And in the name of this getting respect, getting recognition, people are misutilizing the things. They are accumulating the things as much as possible to be a special from others. 
and there is a growing concern about this lifestyle. So, getting this continuum of happiness from these sources lead us to consumeristic lifestyle. So, a lifestyle where a consumer is praised when it consume more and more. So, you can see a lot of schemes is launched by companies. If you consume more, you get rewards, you get tickets to visit foreign country, etc, etc. So, in now, nowadays, this kind of lifestyle is being promoted and which is actually misutilizing the available physical facilities. As a result, such lifestyle, people are indulging, people are generating waste, people are consuming more than the ability of production of the earth. And in this lifestyle, it becomes a issue of prestige. So, if we are trying to get happiness from these sources and if we are living such kind of lifestyle, we are definitely going to misutilizing the physical facility. So, misutilization in the form of indulgence as, as, as I have talked now misutilization in the form of accumulation both of these come under misutilization so few peoples you can see they are indulged to get happy from this sensation few people are trying to accumulate things to get attention from the others to get respect from the others both of these come under misutilization and what are ill effects of this misutilization? So, one ill effect is indulgence shows up in the form of being harmful for health or causing Ill, Ill health. So, when you try to get happy from this sensation, you start overusing this sensation and it impacts your health and it causes your Ill health. So, as we studied, body is, is a material and it has some limitation, but because of this indulgence, we ignore this limitation and try to get happy again and again using this body, using these senses, which ultimately cause unhealth or Ill, Ill health in the body. Another ill effect of accumulation is that people are deprived of the physical facilities. So, few peoples are accumulating the things in the name of show off, in the name of getting respect from the others, in the name of prestige. But parallelly, many people of the society are deprived of these physical facilities. As a result, a class of deprived people in the society is increasing and it results into inequality. Is results into a large gap between rich people and the poor people. It results into inequality, jealousy, feeling of opposition and all this ultimately disturbing the harmony of the society. And the impact, the effect of this misutilization can be seen at the level of nature too. So, when people try to accumulate more and more things, it definitely puts unnecessary burden on resources of nature. And when this burden, because of this burden, there is a problem of resource depletion, pollution, global warming, etc. So, you can see this ill effect of this misutilization. And with this misutilization, definitely we are not able to ensure right utilization of the physical facilities. Then what can be the possible solution? So, indulgence and accumulation is basically a problem of mindset. 
so people are indulged people are accumulating the things it is basically a problem of mindset and it can be rectified if we work at the level of education and culture effectively so if we provide education that help to ensure wisdom in individual then this lifestyle of accumulation and indulgence can be minimized so transformation of the mindset to a higher level is of course a very basic so it is a first step that this transformation should be ensured through education and sanskar definitely it is a challenging requirement but it is a way to come out of this unwanted lifestyle so let's sum up the whole thing so there is a need to ensure right utilization of physical facilities body and the self then there is a need to right utilize this available physical facility for nurturing protection of the body for participation in the society and for right utilization of the body means there is a need to self study need to self development if we are using our body for the self study for self development it means we are right utilizing the body if we are using body for fulfillment of obligations and duty towards family and society it means we are right utilizing the body if we are investing time labor for the activities of production with the feeling of prosperity it means we are right utilizing the body so right utilizing of physical facility right utilizing of the body and right utilization of the self so right utilization of the self is to ensure right feelings and right thoughts for living with mutual fulfillment so if we are ensuring this right feeling and right thought it means we are right utilizing the self because in that case the self will be active to ensure its participation in larger order and we talked about the priority order so if we try to define the priority order so priority order of is right utilization of the self is the first priority and the right utilization of the body is the second and then finally right utilization of the physical facility in case we are not able to ensure this right utilization of physical facility it means it is an indicator that we are not able to ensure right utilization of the self and the body even though we may be pretending for it then we are talked about possible solutions to about misutilization of the physical facilities at the level of wisdom it is important to develop the wisdom to discriminate between right and wrong between right utilization and misutilization and indulgence through humane education sanskar at the level of family there is a need to have the mindset and the commitment to have a lifestyle that ensures the right utilization and at the level of society there is a need to develop a culture and civilization which promotes right utilization and at least protect or restrain misutilization or indulgence so all this we can do to ensure right utilization and protection of the physical facilities so that's all from my side for this lecture let's meet in the next lecture thank you very much